to the most valuable player of the 2022 Stanley Cup playoffs. The Conn Smythe Trophy is awarded annually to the most valuable performer in the Stanley Cup playoffs. This year's winner scored 29 points in only 20 Stanley Cup games, the highest point total by a defenseman in nearly 30 years. Congratulations to the 2022 Conn Smythe Trophy winner, Colorado Avalanche defenseman, Kale McCarr. To win the Conn Smythe Trophy, second in the last three years. Victor Hedman won it in 2020 for Tampa Bay. The youngest defenseman to win the Conn Smythe in 52 years since Bobby Orr did it. Man to whom he is frequently compared now back in 1970 at age 22. He's just the third defenseman 23 or younger ever to win the Conn Smythe, Serge Savard, from Montreal in 1969. Once again, here's Paul Porter. Ladies and gentlemen, the Stanley Cup. Congratulations both to the Lightning and the Avalanche organizations for their terrific seasons and for giving us a spectacular Stanley Cup final. For the Lightning, this was their third Stanley Cup final appearance in three years. A feat that is unmatched in, in the NHL in nearly 40 years and one that's never been accomplished before during the salary cap era. Congratulations to owner Jeff Binnick, general manager Julian Brisebois, head coach John Cooper, and all the Lightning players on this tremendous accomplishment. For the Avalanche, it's been 21 long years since they hoisted the Stanley Cup. But with a tremendous regular season and a dominant playoff performance, they've climbed the mountain and are on top of the mountain again. Congratulations first and foremost to the Avalanche players for their commitment, their sacrifice, and their achievement in winning the most sought after trophy in all of professional team sports. Congratulations also to owner Stan and Josh Kroenke, general manager, Joe Sackick, Chris McFarland, Charlotte Graham, head coach Jared Bednar, and the entire coaching staff. On behalf of the National Hockey League and Commissioner Gary Bettman, I have the, I have the privilege to invite Avalanche Captain Gabriel Landeskog to come over and accept and hoist the Stanley Cup. He was 19, 10th year as captain, only Joe Sackett served longer, 16 years as captain of this franchise. Now Eric Johnson, as Ray mentioned, longest tenured abs player, 12 years here, 14 in the league. 
number one overall pick in the draft back in 2006. Andrew Cogliano, 15-year veteran. Wasn't on this team until the trade deadline. 1140 games to realize a dream for Cogliano. And that's just in the regular season. What a scrappy player he is. 5'10", 175 pounds. Now McKinnon. He scored the goal. That tied the game. His 13th of the playoffs to tie for the playoff lead with Evander Kane. Jack Johnson, 35-year-old veteran of 16 seasons. He mentioned a couple of nights ago what a month it's been for him. He graduated from the University of Michigan 15 years after leaving. Played two years there for Red Barons and promised the legendary coach he'd get his degree. He did. Now he's a Stanley Cup champ. Nazem Kadri. Broke his thumb in game three of the Western Conference Final at Edmonton. Had surgery. They didn't know if he'd be back. He returned 18 days later and scored a huge goal. The overtime game winner here in game four. The move from Toronto to Colorado proved to be where his dream was realized. The fresh start really remade his image both as a player and as a person. He'll be a free agent. Be interesting to see what happens to Kerry. Burakovsky, he and Helm, the only players who won it before. He hoisted the Stanley Cup with Washington. Darcy Kemper, was he good enough to win a Stanley Cup? Yes, he is. On the road, two wins in the finals for Kemper. And his teammates never lost confidence in him. Miko Rantanen struggled out of the gate in these playoffs. Jared Bednar challenged him before the Western Conference Final become an impact player. He scored a goal in all four games against Edmonton and a record eight assists in the Stanley Cup Final. Darren Helm, he's the other Avalanche player who's won the Cup with Detroit. Spent 14 years there. His first year in Colorado as a free agent. A average regular season race that Coach Bednar used tremendous in the playoffs. I wonder if 14 years between them, if the cup feels the same. <laughs> Amazing. There's Devon Taves. Come over for a couple of draft picks. Uh, solidified this Avs defense and underrated, terrific player. He got a lot of attention because he was paired with the car. With that attention, people realized how terrific he is. That Stanley Cup is just about three feet tall. Battle to Chuskin. Two years ago in Dallas, played in almost 60 games without a goal or a penalty. What a postseason he's had. He certainly got Con Smythe trophy votes. Well, this will continue through the team. An experience that all of these players have been dreaming of since they were young boys. Here's Emily Kaplan. Game. What did it feel like when you finally?